Good afternoon. Uh, I'm Sheriff Juan Vaughn, and spelling is J-U-A-N, V-A-U-G-H-A-N. On December the 5th, 2015, in the early morning hours, the victim, DeMarco Duncan, was killed at Sandy Shores nightclub. Through a long, lengthy investigation, and with the help of other law enforcement agencies, along with the citizens of Hereford County, we have established a probable cause to issue an arrest warrant for first-degree murder for D'Angelo Smallwood for the murder of DeMonco Duncan. D'Angelo Smallwood is a 22-year-old male of 133 Bernard Vista Road, Mufflesboro, NC, and that's in Hereford County. He is currently being hailed in our jail under a $750,000 secured bond for unrelated charges for attempted first-degree murder, felony conspiracy, and shooting into an occupied dwelling. There is no bond for the charges related to the Monko Duncan's murder charge that we put on him. We would like to thank the citizens of Hereford County, Chihuahua University Campus Police, and the Murfreesboro Police Department for all the assistance they gave us in our investigation. I can tell you that the investigation is still currently ongoing. Therefore, we cannot divulge any details or answer any questions pertain pertaining to the investigation, pretty much other than what I've given you uh, at this time. Are there any questions other than that? Sheriff, I mean, personally for you, um, from what we've heard, it sounds like uh, Mr. Duncan was attempting to leave um, at the time that he was shot. I mean, personally, how gratifying, I guess, is it for you to be able to capture the person who, you know, who shot this uh, unintended victim? Um, my lead investigator was Lieutenant Dexter Hayes in this case, and I can tell you him along with the other investigators and the assistance of other law enforcement agencies, agencies worked tirelessly, very hard, put in a lot of hours, and we are very glad and thankful that we have solved this and he's behind bars. Uh, with the previous charges that he's already being held on, I'm assuming that he was known to law enforcement. Yes, sir. Um, does he have any more of a criminal history or is that kind of the extent of the, uh, the charges that you had? I'm not sure at this time. Um, I've heard the name before. So I can assure you that probably there are some more charges prior, uh, prior to these, but I cannot tell you right now whether there were convictions in it at all. I don't know at all. No. Um, what about the family of Mr. Duncan? I'm sure they've been notified that an arrest has been made. What were kind of their sentiments towards? They, they were very happy. Um, I pretty much stayed in contact with the aunt, which is the, his mother's sister, at least every week or every other week we would text and talk and I would pretty much try to let her know where we were. If we didn't have anything new to tell her, I would let her know that. She texted me and asked questions, so when I was able to let them know that we had uh, actually solved it, they were very happy. Very, very happy. Um, you know, as sheriff, you're responsible for the safety and well-being of everyone within the county. Yes, sir. Um, Unfortunately, it seems like it's a trend everywhere, uh, gun violence. I mean, if you could just touch on, um, you know, the effect that gun violence really has on the community. Very bad effect on the community. And we try hard, um, very hard to solve all our cases if possible, um, whether there's a gun involved or not. Um, I can tell you recently, we've had quite a few uh, things to happen, assaults that occur with weapons, and I can tell you that we have arrested uh, all, I believe, but no, actually we have arrested that one. I don't know exactly what's going to happen with the victim being able to come to court. Uh, a lot of times we make an arrest and, and the victims, believe it or not, uh, for whatever the reason may be, get afraid to, to come to court or do anything about it. I know you said all the investigation you couldn't reveal any other details mm -hmm. about uh, this case other than mm -hmm. what you just read. Okay. Uh, can you 
say that there were anybody, anybody else under investigation? Yes, sir. Other than Mr. Small? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So there may be other arrests pending? Maybe, maybe other arrests pending. Not for uh, first degree murder, right. but some other pending charges relating to some other incidents that occurred on December the 5th that night. Yes. And you can verify that, uh, again, I think we had already printed that this was a, at one time, a private party. The nightclub had been. That's correct. Or leased by the Chowan students. That's correct. That's correct. And I guess just because it's an open area, anybody just. Up, That's correct, and as far as we know, from what I can tell you, positively tell you that D'Angelo Smallwood was not a student at Chihuahua University. Right. Do you have anything as far as on behalf of Chihuahua? No, Chihuahua released a statement, so we have to say it. Okay. Chihuahua University and Chief Burke, very, very helpful. The whole time they were very very helpful we really appreciate everything they've done to help us out we really do any other questions thank you all so much I, we really appreciate it I can tell you that that uh, although it was a sad occasion it's a great day to be able to know that we have put somebody behind bars for it and I pray that we get a conviction behind it Thank you. First appearance was today. First appearance was today. Sure was. And he made his, of course, his other charge. He has that thing within the course of the United States. They had a proper cause hearing today. Yes.